Hey guys, welcome to another React Native tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create this animated swipe button with snapping and animations using the React Native reanimated version 2 API. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So here I have a bad React Native project set up with some boilerplate code. So I have the app.js file, some mock UI and the swipe button. So this is the file which we'll be working on. Before moving forward, we need some dependencies. The list is shown on the screen. The first one is the React Native Reanimated. The next one is the React Native Cache Handler. And the last, the React Native Linear Gradient. It's recommended that you install these dependencies by referring the official documentation provided by the libraries. So here I have declared some constants. The first one is the width that is the width of the entire button. The second one is the height and the third one is the padding. Now I have also declared the dimensions from the swipeable button and I've also declared some variable for the dimension of this uh, horizontal swipe range and the horizontal wave range. So the swipe range is the amount of translation that is to reach the end of the button. So let's start by creating the basic layout of the button. So let's create a container. So I have this view, let me just remove the text. Let me give it style, style start, swipe container. Now let's give it some height and width. So I have already declared these constants, so let's use them. So let me give it height of let's give it a background color of white. Give it a display of Flex, align item center, content center, let's and give it a border radius of the height of the button. Now let's create the swipeable pin. So let's create another view. Let's give it a style. Style start swipeable. So let's give it a height of the swipeable dimensions. So swipeable dimension. Similarly, the width. And let's give it a border radius of the swipeable dimension. So we get a circle. Let's give it a background color to check make it absolute and and attach it to the left hand side of the button position absolute left zero so as you can see it's attached to the extreme end but we want it to align with the padding so the left of button padding and let's reduce the opacity now let's make this uh, button swipeable so for this we need the pan gesture handler from the react native gesture handler pan gesture handler so I have imported it from React Native Gesture Handler. So it receives a prop for on Gesture event, which we will be pairing with the uh, use animated Gesture Handler from the reanimated. So let's create a function animated Gesture Handler. Let's declare the function animated Gesture Handler which uses the use animated cache handler. We are importing this reanimated. Let's give it an object. So here we can listen for all the cache events when the uh, cache finishes, when the cache starts and all those events. So let's use the on active. So like when the cache is going on, then we need to move this with relative to the cache. So on active receives an event object. Before that, we need to create a shared value. So let's create X use shared value let's initialize it with zero and let's set the x dot value with the translation x now we need to map these uh, translated value with the style with the translation of the button in the form of style so for this let's create animated style animated let's create an object use animated style which returns an object 
transform translate x x dot value now let's map these styles so we can't put the the animated styles on a normal view we need this view to be animated so for this let's do a default import from reanimated so reanimated comes with animated view animated dot view and let's give it a animated style so create make this an array animated styles dot swipeable let's reload the app and give it a try it's working perfectly it's moving based on the gesture so now let's set up the uh, snapping point if i leave it before the middle of the button it should snap to the initial position and if i leave it after the middle it should snap to its final position for this we need to listen on for the on end event and we need to check the value of translation is less than button width by two that is we are in the middle of the button and we also need to subtract the dimension of the swipe container so we need to subtract the swipeable dimensions by two so we are in the exact center we need to set this value to zero else we need to set this value to the horizontal swipe range which we have declared above so let's give it a try so let me leave it before middle it's snapping to its initial position and let's leave it around 6 70 percent and yeah it's snapping to its final position now let's uh, make this snapping a bit animatable so for this we just need to wrap this the animated function so we can use the width spring so it gives you a interpolation over the spring so with spring let's reload the app and give it a try working perfectly it's and it's giving the spring effect next part is to create this text and animate this based on the gesture so for this we need to create an animated text yeah, so it's in the center now let's give it some style align it to the center let's give it a font size of 20 font weight bold let's give it a color now let's animate this we need to create an animated style so let's give it swipe text use animated style we need to translate this based upon the value of the cache that is the value of the x translate x now let's interpolate it over the value of x let's set the range the input range is from 0 to the horizontal swipe range the input range is this and i need to move it from zero that is the initial position to button width by two minus swipeable dimensions and let's give it an extrapolation extrapolate dot clamp this is all imported from the reanimated map these styles to this so this is, should be an array animated styles starts swipeable text reload the app and give it a try yeah so it's working now let's animate the opacity as well so opacity interpolate x dot value input range that starts with 0 0.8 and end with 0. So, dot clamp. So, yeah, so as the button comes to the end, it's completely on. But if you notice, the text is on top of it. For this, let's give it the text a z index of 2 and this a z index of 3. And let's reduce the transparency so yeah it's working perfectly as expected
let's create this color wave it moves in parity with the gesture so for this let's create another view animated dot let's give it some style styles dot color wave set these styles so let's give it a position of absolute left zero height equal to button height and some border radius now let's animate its width because we want this to uh, expand based upon the gesture so let's create another animated style color wave use animated style which returns an object give it a width of horizontal wave range which we have declared above plus the value of the cashier so, and let's give it a background so that we can see it and now let's map these styles animated styles dot color wave reload the app and give it a try it's working now let's animate its opacity for this we need to set the opacity interpolate x dot value and input range from 0 to 1 yeah, so as you can see when the gesture finishes it's completely visible now let's give it a gradient for this we need to convert this view to a gradient view Port linear gradient from react native linear gradient now we need to convert this to animatable component let's convert it here animated linear tip dot create animated component and and we need to replace this we need to give a color array cut start we also need to mention the start range and by 0.5 and reload the app and give it a try yeah so it's working perfectly as expected now let's animate the color of the pin when I start the animation it should be green and when I reach the end it should become white for this we use the interpolate color from the reanimated so let's remove this and go to the swipeable and let's set the background color interpolate color make sure you import the interpolate color not the colors because the colors is from the version 1 give it x dot value now the range should be 0 the width of the button minus swipeable dimensions minus the button padding we are removing the padding from the right side like the extreme end we can just give the colors which we want to animate so i have given the value of the x the input range and the output range now let's reload the app and give it a try yeah so as you can see it's changing its color from the green to white now let's work on untoggling the button that is moving from this to that so if you see if i move the button in reverse it's showing this glitchy effect so what we can do is like we can use the context object from the reanimated so what it does is creates a context object and uh, stores it in the ui thread so it don't wants to come back and forth so we can do is on start we can use the context so for this let's we don't want the event let's initialize the context object let's give a context dot completed and let's create a state use state from react and initially the state of toggle is false and let's set this now in the active let's create a new value and let's change it according to either we are moving from left to right or right to left if the context is completed that means we are going for untoggling 
so then we can set the new value to the horizontal swipe range plus the translation x because now the translation will be negative so we are moving from the max range and subtracting the translation so we are moving from right to left else we just do what we are doing previously and in the end let's set the value of x to the new value and we also need to set the bound we are not translating it before the button and outside of the button do we can set a if and we can check the new values greater than or equal to zero and then new value is less than or equal to the accepted range that is the swipe range then we set this and the next thing is to do is to change the toggle state we can use the on and event when we are resetting it to the initial position so we need to set set toggle to false and as this is running on the javascript thread we need to wrap it and run on js similarly for this so i leave it to snapping now i am coming back and it's snapping so it's working perfectly as expected now the last thing left is to call this on toggle prop with the true false value so that it can be consumed outside so what we can do is instead of setting the state here let's create a function const handle complete toggle and what we can do is like if it's toggled is not equal to the current state it means we are here yeah it means we are here and i am leaving it again at at the state it started so we don't want to modify the state here we are checking whether these states are not equal if they are not equal then we set the toggle with the value we are calling the function with and let's call this on toggle function which we are getting from the prop with the same value and we need to call this here reload the app and give it a try yeah so it's working perfectly as expected so in the app.js what i have done is when the toggle value is it's just uh, changing the background color so that we get a visual representation of what's happening so that's it for this tutorial hit the like button if you found this interesting and please consider subscribing to the channel thank you